Hello, friends. We're back again. Mm -hmm. Hi. Funny we're, down. Loading. we're down a member and we got a subpar replacement, but it's a replacement. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. We kind of just, we kinda just reach into the we kind of just reach into the bin and pull the first thing that we could. <laughs> oh well, actually, my we, goodness! We reached into the bin and there was nothing in there first. We thought it was empty, but then we kind of scraped around the bottom for a bit. Yeah, this, 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 this is bottom of the barrel here, guys. I don't see, expect see, much see, here. See, chat, see the first day when I don't be late to one of these. This is what I get, and y'all wonder why I don't be. <laughs> nah, dude, this, is, this, is, this is initiation. We uh we are of course kidding. I mean uh, I am. I don't know about Dan. I can't you're, speak you're for him. I, 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 I know it's, it's off a bit. It's off a bit. It's, off it's a bit. We uh, we I mean, we in the Soliosaurus streams do not condone bullying hey, unless it is funny. This, and this, this is not funny. Uh, I was gonna say we do her find hilarious. We'll we'll decide if this is a bit based on this. Pick a row. Am I one of your besties? I come back to you on that. <laughs> I, mean, I come back to you on that. Right this is a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I guess with that, we'll load the content. No, no, you know, no idea how to have this. I will when I leave at the come and I come back. I'll give you an answer. How about that? Yeah, it better be the correct one. All right, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Ugh. I have to do my job? Oh, good lord. I know, crazy. Oh no, uh, I forgot something. Wild. I didn't want to my actual, I, I actually voice act Did you say you forgot something, Celia? It's okay, we're all good now. Alright, <laughs> forgot to kick out the cat, probably. No, no, the cat's still here. Which, oh. yeah, I suppose that'll be on the list. If she does be. Right now she's- If? Well, there's yeah. no if. It's only when. <laughs> Well, true, it is a when thing, but you know what? I'd like to have faith in my cat. Right, Midnight? The same cat who, who basically scratched at you. Like, no, you know, generally, I was hoping that Sins and Midnight would jump right on top of her. <laughs> Actually, she's not even looking in my direction. It's funny. I'm a... <laughs> Ew, June. My least favorite month. June 7 oh my gosh June 17th 9:52 a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby number 2 This is it I oh um, I um, I forgot to use his voice wait wait hold up Oh jeez I forgot my water Water Who drinks water Get a can of carbonated <laughs> beverage today Absolutely not <laughs> This is it. The big. Oh no, that's not it. So I'm going to Maya. Uh, she had. Uh, she didn't have quite as high a pitched as Pearl, but I don't know. Real quick, pull up one of your old streams and listen. I can't believe you want me to go all the way to my new st stream. Oh wait, no, this is it. Okay. Professional was that good one? This is it. The big day. Did you get any sleep? Yeah, I went to bed at 1 a.m. or so. Wow, that's oh? me in real life. Oh? <laughs> what time did you wake up? Two. <laughs> it was huh? close. <laughs> that's only two hours, Apollo. But at least you have me. And the amazing Mr. Hat. Here is looking at you, kid. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know who this is. Yeah, good luck today, Apollo. That, that voice! Oh, oh, it's Phoenix. Hey! Sorry. I brought Kibasha with me. You want any, Apollo? No food's mm. not allowed in the courthouse, Mr. Wright. I'm not an attorney. What are you gonna do? Just bar me? <laughs> I already did that. They'll kick you out. Oh, they already did that, too. I just came back. <laughs> <laughs> Guess they uh, know they can't stop him. <laughs> mm. By the way, you look terrible. You get any sleep? Mr. Wright! Mm. Yeah, I was so out of my mind, boom. So I tried myself out earlier today. 
Oh you know, my Paolo, lord. Somehow that place makes fake piano playing at the Indochine pasta joints seem almost fun. Daddy! Do you know who Prosecutor Gavin's witness is today? Uh, take a guess. <gasps> hmm. How about Little Plum? <laughs> oh, that Sherman tank of a mom? No, guess again. <laughs> oh my God. That's too bad. You know, speaking of moms, you need to find me a new mommy one of these days, Daddy. <laughs> Why do you choke? Oh. When, when's really that gonna happen, Daddy? You you said um you, it was gonna happen soon. <clears throat> I said that. Oh God, I said that. Uh, now now you know uh, how it feels to be in the in the in the electric chair, Mr. Wright. Kid. He like looks over to Paul, face deadly serious. I invented the electric chair. <laughs> I hate this not happening. Jeez. It's barely morning and you're already at it, True. So you know what? If you want a mom so bad, well, <laughs> there's Polly. No, 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 no. I don't buy this father-daughter relationship. No, no, no. Okay, we can't get his age. Never mind. So, Mr. Wright, do you know who the prosecution's witness is? Mm. Alita Tiala, your client's fiance. She's going to be a witness? Man, talk about betrayal. But that seems odd. Why would she testify against her own fiance? You have to wonder what Gavin's up to. Something's going down today. That much is clear. Well, not to worry. I've got I've got my pants back. If we can't find a killer, I'll pull one out of there. That that's not how that Not with that attitude, po Apollo. Sorry guys, the ketchup's being difficult. Ketchup? The what? Uh, ew. <laughs> well, I already don't like. I already don't like ketchup. To begin with. The fact that it's in a farting bottle is also just. Ew. Well, you sure you don't want any Apollo? I still got. No, more. no, I'm completely fine. Just because I'm red, this doesn't mean I like red things. All okay. right, more for me. June seventeenth, ten a.m. District Court, courtroom number four. Oh, okay, we oh, just wow. we're just going right wow. in. <laughs> Jesus, I completely right. forgot that happened. Oh. No, there's no courtroom oh, gallery. It's bro, just the, 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 it's the, my the, time the, to shine. Bro, the, they they gave me Ace Turner online flashbacks. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dan, don't you dare say it. <laughs> so, Dan, I had it all planned out. <laughs> So who's Piccolo gonna play? He can play the peanut gallery. <laughs> no. Oh, look Actually, at me. I... I'm not involved in this affair. <laughs> <laughs> can I say one line as him at least? You could say okay. Oh, yeah. You could say this line. Okay. Thank, thank you. <clears throat> no, this is my line. Then you have him, Piccolo. No, no. I was like, I, I want to say who forcing club here, but I, I remember who doing that. <clears throat> Court is now in session for the truck. Ooh, get off the stage! Guilty. <laughs> in the future. Mr. Oh, Mr. Justice, I do not care for this tone of voice that you're taking with me. Uh, your client will be subject to a hey, fine of arson. Hey, that was some dude in the peanut gallery. You will be subject to the electric chair treatment, Mr. Justice. But I, I didn't do anything. It was that guy yeah, over no, there. Away. I'm sorry. We still need a defense attorney for the uh, for the for the trial. Oh right, well, that thing. Well, I'll just I'm already sneak bored of this in. trial, so I'm gonna bring my uh, my very identical looking cousin to take my place. Goodbye. The defense is ready, <laughs> Your Honor. <laughs> I, I don't know what's going on, but he was having a. He was. Oh man. Hmm. The prosecution is warmed up. And it's a sold-out house. Very well. To recap. Well, yesterday's witness seems more guilty than the other party. Guilty?
guilty of pants snatching. We didn't find out. Uh, we didn't find out one thing for certain. There were three people in the park at the time of the murder. The witness, the victim, and the defendant. Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> Correct. Hey, judge. Mm, this this kabasa is good. It's really so good. Hey, Justice, would you care for some kabasa? I'm... I'm full. No? Oh, well, thank Mr. you. Head Rye told me that you did not eat anything today. Mm. I drank a lot of water. Oh. So that is good, I guess. <clears throat> Today, I'd like to do something a little new age, Herr Judge. I'd like to look at this horrible crime from the outside. The outside? Hmm. The acquisition of the murder weapon. The preparation for the act. Hmm. Hmm, Fräulein Wright, would you care for some? Sure, I'd love some. Help yourself. Thank you. Oh, this is really good. Pa pa Apollo, you're missing out. Like, really. Kibasa is pretty good, Head Justice. I'm full, thanks. <laughs> you're lost. Oh. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna put that aside for now. I, I could just like imagine that the judge not even saying anything. He just he just looks at Clever like the disgusted face. I just watch him just eat, <laughs> eat his courtroom. <laughs> well, I think that's like a word. A poor defendant told all you see to his betrothed. His betrothed. His fiance, Herr Judge, is partner for life with no chance for parole. Farewell, you must show them uh, lucky lady to the stand. Your name and occupation, Fräulein? Alita Tiala. My occupation is future wife. Ah, uh, traditional values. <laughs> well, back in my day, my traditional values, we, 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 had, we had all types of wives and husbands. I respect that. I, I, I thought you were going to go on the route of, ah, uh, back in my day, we had no traditional values. <laughs> <laughs> See, uh, that, 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 that's too easily. I, I want to do the low hanging fruit. I want to be different. <laughs> too many, bridge, bri uh, too many bridges. Too many bridges. Too many bridges these days can't even hold the wee baskets blindfolded underwater. Yes, you're here today as a witness for the prosecution. To be honest, I didn't want to testify at first, but I couldn't hide the truth. Hmm, honesty. Another I'm admirable trait. <clears throat> Delicious. Every line. I'm hungry. <laughs> I am not hungry to eat two lines. What's with it with everyone eating today in court? <clears throat> oh, this is this is a daily occurrence, Apollo. If I am not mistaken, Herr Wright was quite infamous for bringing food to the courtroom. So much so that they have given up on throwing him out, as you no doubt have noticed. I noticed. Fräulein, is it true that on the day of the crime, the defendant, Woki Kitaki, confessed his plans? His plans for murder? Yes. The witness will please give a test note to the court. Woki's plan. Time to snitch on my husband. It was the day that the family health checkup results came back. When Waki found out that Dr. Maractus had lied, he flew into a rage. I'll teach him, he said. He took one of the family's pistols. And you already know what might what happened that night. I 
just don't see how anyone but Waki could have done it. So, the pistol belonged to the Kitaki family then. <clears throat> Uh-oh. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> well, welcome to my world, Dan. <laughs> I didn't expect him to talk this much. He's usually quiet. <laughs> welcome to my world, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> he usually just lets Apollo ramble on before objecting. Welcome to my world, Dan! <laughs> so you forget I pulled this as, like, Phoenix, but it made sense because Phoenix was a goober. Yeah, when I eat, and there's a I line. Take it. I take it. <sighs> now everyone yawns. <laughs> no. No, I refuse. In fact, I'm going to think of something else and not think of yawn. <laughs> Uh, crap! <laughs> <laughs> hmm, yes, man. With regards to this investigation is... <laughs> Stop. The course, the course just I know I, I know I caught this, but order. 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 <laughs> There will be no yard in, no yard in court. Help! Yes. I will send you out my court room if I have more yard in here. With regards to this, an investigation is underway at the Kitaki Mansion. On charges of the possession of illegal firearms. And the bullet that took the victim's life, was it? Fired from the pistols the defendant procured? Yes, this has been proven. How can you prove something like that? Bullets carry marks from the barrel that fire them, called rifling marks. Rifling marks? Yes, think of them as being a gun's fingerprints left on every bullet it fires. And when did you first hear about Walkie's plan? It was the day of the murder. I... I should have stopped him. I just didn't think he would actually do it. Okay, hold on. You didn't think no no hold on. <laughs> you didn't you didn't think that your gangster <laughs> boyfriend was going to commit murder against someone who wronged him. Is that what we what we put in the court today? Yes. I It's a regional dialect, your honor. Uh, very well. The defense may begin the cross examination. <laughs> he just gave up. He's like, ah, oh, whatever. I don't care anymore. Ahem. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Four. Five. Hold it! How can he say that for certain? How? Ah. Uh. Objection! <clears throat> Head forehead, you will refrain from badgering the Fräulein. It was his defendant, um, Walkie, was it, who took the pistol from his home. We know this for a fact now. I suppose we do. So, how could anyone else have used this pistol to shoot the victim? They could not. Simple logic, yeah. It does seem to be the case. Does the defense have anything to say regarding this point? Could someone else have used that pistol? Now there was another. Based on your testimony, there was clearly another. One other person had access to that pistol! What's this? Hmm, interesting. Let's ask the defense then. Tell the court who this other person was access was. Take that! Take that! Wait, what? Well, of course, I mean, you, Miss Tiala. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Me? But why? You were quite clear when you told the court you heard about the pistol from the defendant on the day of the murder. In other words, you knew what he was planning. Objection! Let me get this straight. 
You intend to tell us that this lady stole the pistol from her fiancé <clears throat> and killed the man in cold blood on his behalf? <laughs> I've heard of people doing strange things for love, but this... It does seem a bit unfathomable, to be sure. I'm all for romance and for your partner in life, you know, to be sure. But I think I will hesitate at murder. I'd hope you do more than hesitate! <laughs> hesitate. But what if a different connection could be proven? A connection between the witness and the victim? We might find that she had a personal motive beyond wanting to help her fiance. Hmm. Oh. Well, that would put things in a slightly different light. What possible connection are you suggesting here? You know what I'm starting to think? I'm starting to think that the police never looked inside that safe. I have evidence showing a connection between the witness, Miss Tiala, and the victim. Take that! Take that! Don't worry. I, I fail to see exactly what sort of connection this shows. Well, see, that's because uh, there isn't one. What? Oh, I believe I understand. I believe you rather warn your eyes of a penalty. Uh, one more try. <laughs> I'll get it this time. Air forehead, you oh. seem to be sweating. No, no, I'm sorry. I just presented the wrong thing. Take that! That looks like a medical trauma. Wait, wait, what? What did you present earlier? I think I think she presented the the autopsy report or something like that. <laughs> oh, I presented oh, that. Check, check up report. Well, yeah, that doesn't have her name on it. That uh, has all the I'm sorry. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. I thought that was the right answer. <clears throat> okay, sorry. That looks like a medical chart. Found inside a safe for the Maractus Clinic. I like to draw the court's attention to the names written on the chart. What? Miss Tilala? Why is your name on the chart? <laughs> Well, care to explain the meaning of this, Miss Tiala? I'm not Ooh. sure what you mean by meaning, Mr. Justice. Ah, our warm little fiancé just froze over! I was on staff at that clinic until half a year ago. It was boring, so I quit. That's all. Is there a problem with that? Miss Tiala? Testified that you had no connection to the victim. And I don't. Now. Oh. Now? I quit half a year ago, didn't I? So there's no connection. Let me guess. You're the kind of guy who can't rest until he knows every last detail of his girlfriend's past. Am I right? That's not true at all. I, I embrace the ones I love. I, I... Objection! There's no connection now. Doesn't fly in a court of law. Doesn't fly. She's one tough nut. She probably feels right at home with the Katakis. You left your job at the Maractus Clinic, true. But you remain connected somehow. Farewell, Mr. Justice. Show us evidence that proves the witness is still connected to the, the Maractus Clinic. Take that! Whoops. Well, I, I suppose I could. Objection! Hair forehead. Is this trail you think you have found? It doesn't lead to the truth, nor to a long career in the legal profession, yeah? Gee, thanks. Perhaps you will allow me to do the honors, hair judge? Mm, why not? Might be nice to touch. <laughs> Most excellent. Let's rock! Penalty! <laughs> I'll take the usual penalty next time, thanks. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that snake was glorious. I actually like that a lot. I like it, why take not? That! Whatever. 
These sandals were found in the Maractus Clinic lobby. They're yours, aren't they? Uh, well, who knows? I'm sure there are lots of people with those sandals. I almost went British. So, so sorry, Fräulein, but your act isn't working. Uh, your moment of hesitation just now seems to have cost you. What's with you? I thought you were on my side. Hmm. Perhaps you are unaware that toes lead toe prints? A simple analysis of these sandals tell all. Well, now we see your true colors. I was wrong to cooperate with you from the beginning. I just wanted... I just wanted you to help get Walkie back on the straight and narrow. Hmm, this court thinks you need to worry less about walking more about yourself. It sounds as though we need to hear a bit more about your story. Your sandals were found in the entrance of the clinic. Which means you went there on the day of the murder! Well, that's a little point in denying it. <clears throat> Sorry. <coughs> oh well, the witness will tell us about this visit. Why did you go to the Maractus Clinic that day? The Maractus Clinic. I did go to the- I did go to the clinic that day. My first time in half a year since I quit in January. I went to warn him. After all, I knew Walkie had the pistol. The doctor always was a timid man. Too timid to admit his own mistake. Why else would I have gone? I'm not hiding any dark secrets. I wanted to tell him to be careful, as an old friend. An <laughs> old friend? <coughs> By mistake, you mean. The mistake we heard about from the defendant. The boss operation. He was timid. He was a timid, small man. But I never wished him harm. I just thought I should let him know, you know? Hmm, that does make sense. Yes, but there is still one thing which does not. What's that, Prosecutor Gavin? The sandals left in the lobby, of course. We can assume she wore these sandals to the clinic, yeah? Then why did she not wear them home? <coughs> I'm trying to, like, talk softly, but... I don't. I didn't tell Piccolo or Wudgy, but Nine knows I was doing vocal exercises yesterday. Yeah, oh, really? I had a feeling. <laughs> Dang, you better be why drinking you, that water. Why are you doing it's... vocal exercises, Dan? Because no one was home, so I actually had a chance to raise my voice without like disturbing anyone. <laughs> Yo, Dan, you gotta give me the notes. It's like I can do that. I, 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 like, I, I do vocal exercises whenever I do stuff like the voice act goes same, but I, I, I'm already looking for new, new tips. Why are you laughing, Nine? Nothing. Yeah, what's wrong? Nothing. Say it. Nothing. Just say it. Nothing. Say it. Nothing. Say it. <laughs> Don't read the lines when you say it. Pecoro asks, you know, what vocal exercises you do, Dan? <laughs> well, did he know I that scream. those? scream. Yeah, those vocal exercises came from me. <laughs> really? See, Not that I what? do it. It was just an option. <laughs> just, just the TLDR. Because nobody was home, I was able to raise my voice and do screaming exercises or shouting exercises without disturbing anybody. That was the exercise yesterday. I was yeah, holding so the screen. Yeah, so then your neighbor somehow hears it and thinks that you're being stabbed to death. I, 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 can't, I can't believe that, that all Dan did was just challenge the end of Patrick Star and then went, just do what I do. Screw <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, and every time I talk low now, my voice will like cut out now. Like my actual vocal cords will stop oh. working. Oh, man. Yeah, you, okay. yeah, you just... <clears throat> You might, need, <laughs> you might need to give you a, give you a vocal cords like some some R and R. No, they're good. If they give out on me, I'm not paying them. I... What? 
if they stop working, they're not getting paid. They they know what's up. They know better. They don't get paid anyways. <laughs> oh, yes, they do. I let them live there rent free. If they stop working, I guess I have no use for useless things. Just tear them out. Uh, then you want to. <laughs> I, mean... I don't understand how this fan operates, but okay. Dan, this, 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 is a, this is a two a two men, or I guess two, one man, one. No. What, what is Are you okay there? <laughs> This 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 a whole relationship. You can't you can't go one without the other. I think I can, Piccaro. I don't think you can. I think I can. I think if I want something, they better be prepared to give it. Yes, sir, Mr. Clavier. Thank you. <clears throat> hey, nine, you're good, right? You been, yeah. You've been a little quiet. Okay. <clears throat> then why did she not wear them home? If it were me, I would have worn them home. I would have worn those sandals home too, and rocked them too. You would have what? So, why were the sandals left behind? <laughs> <laughs> ah, he pointed out the contradiction before me! There's probably a good explanation for this, right, Miss Tiala? Say, for instance, there happened to be a similar pair of sandals there which you wore home by mistake. Actually, that's right. I'm impressed, Mr. Gavin. Oh. Oh, it is nothing. There is, after all, no other possible explanation. Yeah, forehead. Oh, what the? Ah, oh, it's no fair. He's filling in the holes in the testimony, and I definitely should be objecting that he's leading the witness. The defense may begin to cross him. That, uh, yeah. That's 100% what Apollo should have done, though. <laughs> exactly. It's only his second case. He he ain't ready to make big leaps of logic like that yet. <laughs> that, that, that not till later on. It took Phoenix until Dual Destinies to call someone out for leading. Objection! Exactly. Objection! That's how I learned bluffing. The true... <laughs> this chart was found inside a safe in the doctor's office. Yes. Why would this one chart be in that safe? Miss Tiala, you know why it was, don't you? <laughs> Mind filling me in? Dr. Maractus didn't have the leisure of making mistakes. That's why he wrote up a false report and kept the truth locked away. Hmm, bad head, Doctor. <laughs> and this is where you come in, Miss Tiala. Mm. The nurse who filed this chart was you. Which means, you knew about Walkie's failed operation! Ah, pick her up. Sorry. <coughs> Interesting. <laughs> You're in the same position as Dr. Maractus. Kind of makes it hard to claim no connection, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry, sir. Oh, of course, sir. You're bold for a novice. I'll give you that. Uh. Mr. Justice, you must know I was only a nurse. The doctor is responsible for the chart's content. Hmm, this chart is seemingly quite important. Don't say it, Judge. Please, amend your testimony accordingly. Too bad, little attorney. My bracelet's reacting again! What is it, Apollo? I felt my bracelet tighten just now. Your bracelet? <laughs> guys, guys. Imagine Apollo kind of tears in his head. Remember, Apollo. You're nearly full-blooded. <laughs> <laughs> and then the bracelet just signs up. You know what the craziest thing is? I don't understand that meme. It's just an invincible joke from Omni-Man. No, you, you, know, you know the sad part is? You know the sad part about this is though? That joke will come full circle once we get to do it, get, get the uh, spirit of justice. That's I guarantee Oh my <laughs> lord, yes! <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 pick a row. The dad 
the guy who's... I don't know if I should spoil. I'm not going to spoil for stream. Yeah, yeah, don't spoil, don't spoil it, but just, 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 just know that it's uh, right you know, back. You know, wait, you know just keep I'm it in mind about, until after stream or something. Then okay. Talk about it. Yeah. Oh, just like I'm you, just, just like yesterday, like you said. Oh, yeah, I This got is it. Trucy. When a witness is unsure of something, their nervous habit gives them away. But I can't see anything, Apollo. Uh huh? And what's my bracelet reacting to? Wait, maybe... Yes, that has to be it! What has to be it? Your senses, Apollo. It's... It's when you're nearly full-blooded. And because of that, they must be sharper than mine! What does that mean? I don't know! <laughs> but I can't see it, but you can sense it! I don't know about that, Tersi. I don't have any kind of special power or anything. Listen to me, Apollo. It's like my daddy was saying. You're nearly full-blooded. You will what soon be able that? to. You'll soon be able to tap into unlimitless power. Look, there's a weak point somewhere in Miss Tiala's testimony, but we don't know what her nervous habit is. Well, then what do we do? You have to perceive it yourself, Apollo. With your eyes, and your senses, and deep down, where your power is. It's up to me and my half-bloodedness, I guess. I don't know why, but the bracelet helps. Somehow, touching it helps me focus. Let's give it a shot and bring down that testimony. Why would I go? Why would I go to the clinic now for a half a year old chart? Why would I go? To... It, 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 it look he would be like war war gotcha to the clinic. Why go to the clinic for half a year chart now? You ask. But. You know why you would go now, don't you? I don't know what you're talking about. It was quite clear, Miss Tiala. You have a nervous habit. The moment you said the word now, you used your right thumb to fiddle with your ring. B what? <laughs> she was unsure. I saw it. Now. That's the key word. The chart wasn't a part of your past. It was a clear and present threat. That's ridiculous. Why, if that were the case, I would have had six months to do something about it. Indeed. Uh, eh? Which means something happened quite recently. Something to make that chart a problem for you now. <sighs> I've got her on the ropes now. I can feel it. Time to strike the killing blow with evidence. Miss Tiala, there's no use trying to hide it. The chart became a threat to you now. Because of this! Take that. Take that! A health checkup report. Belonging to the defendant. The Katakis are trying to get out of the business. The health checkup this month was their first ever. What did you think when you heard about this? Eh? Uh, that made no sense, but nothing. Why should I think anything? <laughs> oh? I would think you were positively beside yourself. Because you were afraid. You knew that what Walkie's chest x-ray would reveal. Uh, a, a full half year since passed, had passed since the operation. You thought you were home free. When the chart came back to haunt you. Uh, That's the coolest part of the AJ right there. Oh, the I should have been like... Uh, should have done that. That's all, your honor. What just happened? <clears throat> Did Dwin just admit to lying? <laughs> hmm. I sensed it, her forehead. There was a great aura emanating oh, from Oh my god. <clears throat> Very cool, Herr Viltramite. Paolo, Paolo, that was the name? I, 
totally forgotten the name, but he knows. He knows that's the name. Name of what? <laughs> this joke is almost as dumb as McGill's. <laughs> I think it's just a wee bit dumber. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a little dumber. <laughs> No, it might be just dumb because this actually makes sense. That's, 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 I think that's why it's so dumb. <laughs> I think the best part is that the script keeps feeding into it. Right? <laughs> that's why I'm just saying you're like, bro. This is your line, by the way, Dan. Oh my god, it like zoomed in on her. I thought it was her for a second. <laughs> <clears throat> She's sweating right now. So, the lady was lying, it seems. That's correct. She said she had no connection to the Maractus Clinic. Our connection was deep indeed. A bit too deep. If the Kentucky's got a hold of this chart with her name, she'd be finished. Isn't that right, Miss Tiala? <sighs> you guessed it. <coughs> Order! Order! I, I did it! I, I can't believe it! I completely bluffed my way through that! I broke her testimony! Amazing, Apollo! I didn't see it at all! Daddy was right about you! You are happy- Wait! Uh. <laughs> Miss Tiala. <coughs> it's, it's true that chart was bad news for me. That's why I went to meet the doctor that day. But that's all! I told him about Walkie and went home. <clears throat> I love how I change this voice like every five minutes. It appears that this cross examination is far from over. I have to, I have to get off what? Of okay, Picaro. She... Sorry, Picaro. I didn't even know what he said. <laughs> the okay. line fuck Did came up. Oh. I said, don't know. He, he basically said he'll be right back. Oh boy. Oh god, I get to be the judge. Yes, you can. Oh yeah, Dan. this is this is your moment. Your time she, to shine. She hid the truth from us. This is clear, and yet it is not clear that this truth has anything to do with the case at hand. Mmm. Very well. The witness will add this to her testimony. And we'll have a bit more cross-examination. Oh, I was so close! You're still close. Keep on her, Apollo. But by the way, Mr. Justice. Yes, Your Honor. I have to say, that Clavier guy is really cool. He seems to have this in the bag, as they say. I think I'm just going to give him the win. What? That's not how that works, Your Honor. What, what do you mean? I, I'm, I'm in the judge. middle of my legally abiding cross examination. I can't do that, Judge Wilson. I'm going to go back to the normal one. <clears throat> What do you mean, Mr. Mr. Justice? I I can't just decide who wins. No, no, you can't, Your Honor. Oh, huh. Carry on. Anyway, nothing happened at all. I warned him and left. No problem. Objection! Objection! You say nothing happened in the doctor's office. I disagree. Take a look at this! What's that? It looks like a squished up ball of clay. Kind of like you, actually. This bullet was found in the Maractus Clinic office. Something did happen in that office, Miss Tiala! Objection! Enough of this joking around. The police investigated that clinic. Objection! Ah, but this was stuck inside the doctor's safe! Inside the safe? I guess the police didn't check that far. Objection. Objection! But there is a problem. How can you say that bullet was fired on that day? Objection! Objection! Weren't you the one who explained rifling marks to us? <laughs> the pistol was taken from the Kentucky Mansion that day. If the marks in his bullet match on match the murder weapon, then that proves a fire on what's discharged in that office on the day of the murder. Hmm. Not bad, Herr Forehead. Bailiff, have this bullet analyzed immediately. Six and a half hours later. <laughs> Thirty, 30 minutes, minutes later. later. 
30 minutes later, a report arrives. The rifling marks on both bullets are identical. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Celia. You're welcome. Well then, it seems as though the bullet in the safe was fired from the murder weapon. Hmm. Perhaps the defense would like to state their position. The bullet in that safe proves one fact. A pistol was fired in that office on that day. And at the time of the firing, the safe was open. The safe which contained the top secret chart. Do you think someone was threatening Dr. Maractus? In order to open the safe? Only one person was in a position to do such a thing. Our witness, Alita Tiala. Order, order, order! Mr. Justice, where are you going with this? Are you accusing the witness? Alita Tiala knew about Walkie Kataki's botched operation. She got engaged to him without telling him about it. Hey as long as that bullet remained in his chest, his days were numbered. What if she married him, and then the bullet finally reached its destination? Uh, what? Wait, did Pickerel come back? I he said something, muted. and then immediately muted himself again. Got it, okay. That reminds me. Apparently, the Kitakis have been asserting themselves in lawful business practices, and they're making quite a great deal of money. A fortune, if you will. N nefarious So she planned to marry him just to get her hands on this fortune? This is Walkie. Uh, who took him? Oh. UA was walkie. Oh god, I got this. <clears throat> Why'd you, you got it? He said he wasn't doubling up. Alright, Dan, you got up. it. Alright. <clears throat> He's tripling up. I'm tripling up? How did... So UA gave him a really brash voice, right? He really... He gave him a really brash, um... Irish voice, akin to, like, Majima or something like that. Okay, I'll, I'll do my best. I'm not UA, but I'll try. <laughs> <clears throat> you keep trash talking about my Alina! And I'll sue you, lawyer man! Huh? Me? I'm literally your lawyer! Yeah, you said. You said you'd. You'd. You'd abuse my Alina! I, I think you mean accuse! Same difference! Well, you can't have her! She's mine! It was me! I shot that doctor! Me! He left me to die, so I left him to die, too, there in that park. W walkie Just call down a second! You keep your hands off my Alita, or I'll... He's gonna scream, I can't... <laughs> t t <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's right. Uh... Oh, right. Um, okay. <laughs> Miss Tiala? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I just... It's been so long since I've laughed so hard. Something funny? Walkie, wake up and smell reality. Uh, Alita, baby? The signature on the chart, the engagement... I mean, come on, it's so obvious, even for a brainless, spoiled brat such as yourself. Uh, Alina. Hmm, your honesty is like a breath of foul air, Fräulein. Hey, I, wa I wasn't getting out of this clean anyway. So, the family fortune is what you're really after. That's right, I wanted the money. No way! That's whack! I ain't trying to hear that! Should have done the wedding earlier. Oh well. By the way, can I ask you a question? Who? Me? I believe you said you were going to abuse me. Accuse. Oh, what a crime, might I ask? Huh? Oh, I'm a bad girl. Oh, I hate everything. <laughs> I really hate everything. <laughs> she got it. She said it. She said it. Oh, it doesn't matter. Sure, I got close to that Brad because I wanted his money. But 
He was the one with the pistol. Like how I'm gonna fire it at all of you. Hey, what? I mean, he could have uh, fired it into the safe after I'd already left the clinic. What? I would never do a thing like that. It was definitely that silly brat. Wait, but... What are you talking about? Trucy? You had the most to lose if that chart was found. But I didn't have a pistol, now did I? Well, you could have taken walkies. You'd think he'd have mentioned that, no? All I've heard him say is, it was me, I shot him. Objection! That's only because he's trying to protect you! <clears throat> Sorry to intrude in this lovely conversation. <sighs> but the two of you are forgetting one critical point. What? What point? Certainly, the Fräulein wanted that chart. You assume she threatened the doctor into opening that safe, but then... Wouldn't she have taken the chart? Oh... You see? That chart wouldn't have been left in that safe. Ah! Uh. He... He's right! <clears throat> God, where's UA when you need him? <laughs> I mean, if I could take the judge of need- Tiala, shut up! Okay, yes? It is clear to this court that you are not a very good fiancé. Oh, I'm flattered. You're also oh, I just realized Meg person. is in the chat. Mega, shut up. <laughs> huh? What? Oh, Mega, hi. Oh, you hello. You, you just said shut up? Okay, I'll leave. Bye. No way, come back! <laughs> Ain't no way. He was in he chat a moment. <laughs> Twitch. Mega, why are you here? Why do you come <laughs> back here? Why do you end your exile? Huh? You were you were you were banished to the Badlands to the West. Why are you here? He was not banished, shush. Huh? I don't know. I why was, are you I, here? I decided to come back. What? Because uh. What? <laughs> Because you guys got good chips here. Good chips. Good chips. <laughs> Hold on, what kind of chips? I didn't even know here? we had chips. Uh, I, I might have been st storing them where no one was supposed to know and no one was supposed to say, Mega. What kind of chips? Mm, uh, spicy. Spicy Dorito. Oh, so you can have them. Uh, sun chips. Uh, a couple well, hold of on, what kind of, what, well, hold on, what kind of sun chips? <laughs> All kinds. Uh, I only like harvest cheddar. Yeah, we got those. Oh, yeah, they're mine. So, anyways, uh -huh. I heard you need another voice actor. <laughs> we'll give you that impression. Mm. Mm. I I just so happened to be awake because I'm drinking soda and I'm still awake, and my body clock is going to hate me tomorrow. But I'm I'm awake. Hooray! What and gave you the impression the that we needed help? The and tipsy, but we I'm need help. Shut up. <laughs> who, who you saying you're not you satisfied with me? Who do you need? I am, no, I'm satisfied, but you had three rolls here, and that's 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 a lot for your for your uh, vo vocal cords. Uh, we need a judge. Why does Wudgie sound clear? Because I have the he got a new mic. mic. You weren't here for off. that. He got a better mic. Oh my oh. god, that's how long it's been since since he's been in the the streams. Uh, yeah, he literally like wasn't here three for weeks. It. Oh my. Go back Good to know he doesn't watch my streams. Go back to your old mic. Why? It's broke. You broke it? No, it just broke over time. So you broke it. How? No, poor quality. <laughs> Anyways, Mega. It's the wudgy quality. Since, since you're here, I guess you gotta take up the tried and true role, buddy. It's time for you to return to the judge. Which judge? This one. This one? Yeah, this one. No, I don't like that one. Oh, which one did you want? You wanted the Canadian judge. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, hang on, wait, I got mega way. I'm going to set you up. I, I just got a call from the uh, the big office, and it seems that I've been relieved of my duty due to uh, corrupt practices that they don't necessarily agree with. So I'll be appointing my Canadian half-brother to take over. Uh, what? Bye, Mr. Justice. No, wait! Oh, a third judge in this trial? 
Oh, hey, how you doing? Hey. Good to see you. He looks exactly the same. <laughs> Perhaps it's time you told the truth. <laughs> Tell us about yourself. I don't know who you are. <laughs> Including your actions and whereabouts and your name and your address. Uh, TFDR, bad fiance who is who was just dating the defendant just for fortune and hope he died. Yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> Don't forget! <laughs> We've proven that you were at the Maractus Clinic on the day of the crime! Is this how courts operate these days? Just, just deal with it, Miss Tiala. I deal with it all the time, and I'm only... Only yeah, a I'm, Doug I'm Kirk. Still... Yep. <laughs> Funnily enough, Fräulein, this is actually a pretty normal day. Oh, normal, is... you say. Okay, alright. This, all this right. is tame for us. Oh, right. and I'm I'm probably about to be caught by this court. Okay, great. The Maractus Clinic, too. <laughs> Imagine being caught by this court of all courts. <laughs> Imagine being so <laughs> bad at being a criminal that these guys catch you. Yes, I went to the clinic that day to speak to the doctor. I wanted that chart, but I failed to get it. So I went back to the clinic later. So in any case, I didn't shoot him. You don't even have proof I stole that pistol, do you? And that brat was spotted in the park at the moment of the crime. Frankly, I don't think it matters if Dr. Maractus was shot in the temple or not. Uh, you went to back uh, later? That, uh, uh, oh, is my performance tiring you? <laughs> <laughs> no, Mega, we've all been yawning this entire stream. Now you thank know how I thank feel. Thank for it. What? Picaro. Picaro like yawned and infected all of us. We all started yawning after Picaro yawned earlier. Man. <laughs> okay, okay, now that's that's not an actual yawn. You're no, lying. No, that was. Lying I, on I actually yawned. No, I also yawned. actually yawned. Liars, all of you. <laughs> that shard was dangerous, you understand. I needed to get Slam. rid of it. That's why I went that day. Oh, but you couldn't get the shard then, could you? And later that night, Dr. Maractus was shot. I heard about the shooting, waited a day, but then I had to go back. No easy feat with the cops all over the place. Ah, uh, th that was you? Oh, right, I forgot the... Whoops. <laughs> I don't have it either. <laughs> Why? Stop! Oh, oh, feel the... That sound! It came from behind this door! Someone's in there! God, I don't have the... A uh, break-in! Mm. They left to the window! Not again. So you were that burglar. That was you too? <sighs> if only I had one more minute. Then I could have opened that safe and gotten the chart. Uh, what? <laughs> That's trespassing and brazen it they. Oh, is this a trial for trespassing now? Uh, besides, you can't uh -huh. blame a girl for wanting to protect herself. They are Yakuza, you know. Oh, I love that video game. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I, can I, you imagine? I, no, eventually. <laughs> can you imagine the Canadian judge playing the Yakuza series? <laughs> what is in any case, uh, Mr. Justice, can you uh, cross examine in a drag quest terms? I'm hitting the little crime kind of with the big one, eh? 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 Her, her forehead. Try a heat action. <laughs> I'll show you a heat action. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not get hasty now. Hold it! Huh? The doctor was shot in the right temple, yes? So it seems. Let's review the facts again, shall we? No. This is good since Mega wasn't here. If yeah. the killer was shot from this location, the bullet would have struck our victim square in the forehead. However, the right entry square. wound was in the right temple. This takes place in a temple? 
Uh, yes, we heard testimony on this, uh, yesterday. The time of the uh, shooting, the witness was uh, standing right about here. Uh, just before the gun was uh, fired, he shouted. The uh, victim turned his head to look and he uh, was shot. OBJECTION! But that testimony was proven to be a lie! Our egregious pants snatcher, Mr. Stickler, did did witness the crime, but he was standing to the north, next to the trash can where he tossed those pants. What are you talking Mr. about? If Mr. Stickler shot from this location, the bullet couldn't have hit his right temple. Silly, silly attorney. Wh what Do you remember what you had for breakfast that morning? Uh, water? <coughs> I don't remember. Do you remember, Trucy? I always have a glass of milk for breakfast. What matters is one thing. The doctor was shot in his right temple. If that's the case, there can only be one explanation. The pants guy was mistaken. Objection! Objection! <laughs> the pants guy. <laughs> but his location was proven! We have facts! You can't write that off as it and being mistaken, you stupid- Objection! <clears throat> then why don't you show us her forehead? Show you what? Must I explain everything? Ah, yeah. Very well, let's recap. Yep. If the witness, Pants Guy, was standing to the north, then where was the shooter standing? From what location did the killer shoot the victim? I like Pants Guy. But wait, if the witness was uh, uh, standing there, uh, how could anyone shoot the uh, victim in the right temple? <laughs> I merely laid out the facts for us, Herr Judge. It is up to the one possessing the shiny forehead to show us. If you can, that is. Aki Kataki was standing at the killer mark. Wesley, Wesley Stickler at the witness mark. And of course, Palmaractus was at the victim mark. Let's hear what the defense has to say, eh? Where was the uh, killer standing when they shot the victim, oi? Someplace else. As the facts stand now, we can't explain this crime. What? Without contradicting ourselves at some point. What? But I know why. What? Well, let me speak, Your Honor. What? The real killer is shot from an entirely different location. What are you talking about? I don't see any other place. What are you talking about? Mr. Justice, what do you... What do you... What do you mean? Let's hear it. I want to know. Where at the park did the killer shoot the victim from? Objection! Oh, man. It's time to raise the roof. And the sticks. Uh-huh. Penalties are such frightening things, don't you think? Oh my. Oh, you suck at but this game. what if they were a bit more terrifying? Oof. Like so. Knight, you're playing this game badly. <laughs> Nine, aren't you literally using a guide? I, I had oh I had a I had a terrible thought. You've been, and in my opinion, and in my opinion, it should be fairly obvious where the where the killer was. No, Do yeah, no, I, like I I know what's actually happening right now. Like I do remember the case. I just thought I had a thought process of what if the game crashes. Uh huh. Sure. What's a crash? Oh. Air Forehead wishes to take us in a new direction. Then he must be ready for the challenges ahead. Me. Challenge accepted. It's justice time! Uh, are you sure, Apollo? No. He is the witness, Mr. Stickler's testimony. We believe, if we believe that, we know where he stood. And the victim turned when he shouted. There's only one place the killer could have been. The killer shot the victim from here! From my house. Take that! I believe we all owe a debt of gratitude. To Miss Alita Tiala. 
What do you mean? Thanks to you, we had a chance to review the crime. And this time, we were prepared. We know that Wesley Stickler was telling was the truth. We should have listened to him from the beginning. Free date. Wesley Stickler was standing next to the trash can when he saw the two men. Nine, you're not going to believe this. <laughs> he shouted, just as he told us in his testimony. Stop, vile fiend! Stop it, that's cringe! And the victim turned to look in his direction. A shot was fired. The victim was hit in the right temple. He shot from his eyeball. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Which direction was his right temple facing at that moment? That's right. Towards the noodle stand. <laughs> Towards the noodle stand. Order, order, eh, order. So you're saying the killer was inside the noodle stand? Objection. Let's noodles. think about this a bit more, shall we? You say the killer was inside the noodle stand. Which would mean the victim, Dr. Maractus, came to the park. Oh. Wheeling his own murderer in the cart behind him. Uh, yeah. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I'd think you'd notice if you were pulling someone along. Objection! There's no, something uh. we should worry about. There's something we should worry about before that. Why was he pulling the noodle stand in the first place? Objection! Objection! Let's deal with our problems one at a time, shall we? Someone was hiding in the stand. We have not come this far to talk about possibilities. <clears throat> Let's talk about proof, baby. Show us evidence that proves someone was in that stand. Can I prove that? You want evidence that someone was in that stand? <laughs> well, too I've bad. Got it. I've <laughs> well, got it right bad. here. Intriguing! So what you're saying, this is the uh, work of an uh, enemy stand? <laughs> God help us all. <laughs> God help us, please. Oh, also, uh, do you have proof? Take that! Oh! The Maractus Clinic. And they're covered with paint. These slippers were found in the trash can near the crime scene. And? A single slipper print was found at the scene. Right next to the noodle stand. What? <laughs> oh, and Miss Tiala? Your toe print was found in the left slipper. <laughs> in other words... This is proof you are inside that noodle stand! Ah! Objection! Objection! <sighs> Yet there was only one slipper mark found at the scene. Can this be called a footprint in good faith? Objection! Observe the diagram. A park pathway runs right next to the slipper mark. A slipper wouldn't leave a trace on a cobblestone path. Objection! Yet you still cannot say this is a footprint, <laughs> yeah? Why not? You have an impression left by a single slipper. Or what if it was on the stand and simply fell to the ground? Objection! That's... That's just stupid! One more thing. A noodle stand is typically cluttered with the tools of the noodle-making trade. And there's no room for a person to ride in there. Uh, I think he's got a point, yes. Could someone have hidden in the uh, enemy stand? Apollo! I think I might be onto something. Huh? I think I figured out one of our pieces of evidence. In order to make room in the stand, some things would have to be... Well, Mr. Justice, do you have proof someone could have hidden inside the enemy stand? I can prove one thing. Someone did scheme to clear space in that stand. Take that! Duh. This is a noodle bowl from the stolen Eldoon's noodles uh, noodle stand. My goodness, they did a terrible job with the grammar there. 
Oh uh, yeah, the what the boots is. We discovered a large quantity of these balls yesterday. Yo In the lobby of the Maractus Clinic. <laughs> Yo huh. A large uh, quantity of noodle balls in the victim's clinic? Mr. Eldon was very clear about those balls. Oh, this was also UA. Someone voice uh, him. I, okay. I, 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 what's oh, he supposed it? to sound like? What's he supposed to sound like? I mean, I could just take him. Oh, I don't care who did it. Not that stand I'm finished. All my noodle balls were in there, too. But... Yet the balls were removed! That night, there was space inside that noodle stand. Space created at the Maractus Clinic, no less. Right around the time that you were there, Miss Alita Tiala. Stop! I won't listen to any more of these wild fantasies. No, not fantasies. They're worse lies than that spoiled brat's pickup lines. I would like to remind the witness of her uh, current status. This court does not consider you entirely uh, innocent. Show me an innocent. I'll show you a fairy tale. No. In any case, defense has somehow made its point somehow. <laughs> the witness had both a motive and an opportunity to kill Dr. Burke. More fairy tales. This whole trial is a fairy tale. And please pull us back down to reality, Miss Tialu. I'm giving you one last chance to explain yourself. This is it. Why was Dr. Maractus pulling that stand that night? And what was Alita Tiala doing inside of it? Time to get to the bottom of this case. Time to get to the bottom of the case. Tiala's explanation. That night, I went to ask Dr. Maractus for the chart. I had no intention of ever letting that char fall into the Kataki family's hands, but Dr. Maractus didn't understand. For some reason, he thought the Katakis had sent me, so I gave up and went home. All I did was talk to him. You knew about the botched operation, so you tried to get rid of the chart to save yourself. I won't make excuses. And I did warn the good doctor. I gave him a chance. I told him that Brack got his health checkup report, and that he was coming to settle the score. Bleh, I see. <sighs> Very well, Mr. Justice. Begin your uh, cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. This is the last testimony. The end Bleh. of the line. Either I perceive the truth, or it's over. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, you. Time for justice. Gotcha! Gotcha! You did it wrong. All I did was talk. And lie. What? Show me proof! I'm pretty sure about this one. I think I'm getting the hang of this. A little slip in confidence, and they give it all away. The proof? Is you, Miss Tiala. Uh. All I did was talk to him, you claim. You can't hide your own nervous twitch when you say those words. My twitch? What are you talking about? You have a habit of scratching the area of your neck around the edge of your scarf. What? This is working better than I'd hoped! Her unconscious actions tell the truth she won't say. Habits and lies. Two dots. They Connect the dots and find the truth. Or that. Yeah? Huh? Oh, I thought I heard nine. T don't look uh, at me like that! I told nine. you that the truth! See, it seems that when you recall what really happened in that office, you can't keep your hands off your neck, can you? <laughs> hmm. It seems that nervous habits are unconscious reactions that manifest when someone is trying to hide something. 
You can't hide behind your scarf, Miss Tiala. Something happened between you and the victim in the Miraculous Clinic office. And I've got proof that shows exactly what happened! Take that! Take that! What's that? It's the Thinker statue. You're touching your scarf again. Ugh. There's something unusual about this lamp. The bulb is broken, and there's a red splotch on the cord. Uh -huh. Seeing how you hide your neck, I think I could come up with a plausible explanation for, th for the lamp's sa state. My goodness, well, I can't speak. Well, spit it out. This talking in circles nonsense is killing me. Very well. The answer is very simple. Miss Alita Tiala, please remove your scarf. <sighs> I know it's weak. I'm sorry. Good scream. No, no, let it out. Let it out. I, I can't. Ah, I not can't. yet. Not yet. She's got to wait for the breakdown. Of that. Objection. This is a trial to determine what happened in that park. It would seem to have drifted off target. Objection. We'll find out soon enough if we're drifting. As soon as the witness removes her scarf. I... I won't do it. This is insane. I'm a, an unrelated third party. You can't order me to remove my... Dick, Miss Yala. I'm afraid you failed. I forgot what's already been proven. What? You're hardly a unrelated. Uh, please remove your uh, scarf. No. No! I knew it. So I was right, wasn't I, Miss Alita Tiala? Huh? Oh. Yes, Judge. Back. They're not. That isn't what I think it is. Something did happen that night in Maractus Clinic. You needed to get that chart back, no matter what it took. Even if you had to steal your fiance's pistol to do it. Uh, but, but wait, looking at this uh, lamp in the witness's neck, it looks like the very opposite happened. Exactly. The victim in the clinic that night was this witness. Specifically, you tried to threaten Dr. Maractus and he attacked you. That's what happened in that, ni that night in the Maractus clinic. Uh... Oh. Better. Another one down. Another victory for the OGs. Or that, or that, or that. Will someone please tell me what really happened? I told you the truth already. I went to the clinic that night to warn Dr. Maractus. With a gun! That Yakuza knows everything! Whoa. Oh, wait, uh... That Yakuza knows everything! He's coming for you! Ah, uh, I'll get this. It looks like my clinic's seen its last patient. I have to get rid of that chart! Quick, open your safe! Give it to me! So you can save your own skin? What? I know what you're up to. You want in with the family. And if they see that chart, you are finished. Leaving me holding the short straw. But if I'm going down, I want some company. You! And what happened next? He jumped at me and knocked me to the floor. Then he took that cord. Oh, Maractus was serious. Deadly serious. It really tried to strangle me. I... I must have blacked out. Megan, we hear all of that! Huh? We, we hear your chest, we... man. <laughs> what? I'm hungry! So you were the victim! You died! Wait... And the red splotch on the cord. 
was your lipstick. I... I didn't want to remember that night. That's why I didn't bring it up. There. Are you happy now? Uh. I was out cold, <laughs> almost killed. And you claim I then snuck into that noodle stand. But how could I? Well, one thing is uh, clear. We know what really happened at the M M Mercedes Clinic. And it would seem that our victim was not entirely without a blame himself. I... I'm sorry. I get so nervous just thinking of it. It's hard to breathe. I told you everything. Can I go home now? Mm. You bear some uh, responsibility for events that day, uh, true. Yet, if you were also a, a victim, this court would owe you some sympathy. Well, Mr. Just Ice, I believe this clears up the remaining questions for Miss uh, Tiela. When did this happen? Suddenly, everyone's sympathizing with her. I don't know what to think anymore, Apollo. I mean, is that it? Do we know everything we need to know about Miss Tiala? Well, this very well finishes the uh, cross-examination of this, uh... Objection! Nice. <laughs> Not so fast. This party's just getting started. Now, we rock! Uh, wh what So spikes on your head are softer than they look. Or do you not have the stomach to go all the way, hair forehead? A uh, prosecutor, uh, Gavin? <laughs> How Maractus choked the leader Tiala. She fell unconscious. But what happened next? He's right! There is more we don't know! But... She was choked hard enough to leave that mark! She would have to have been out for a while! Even still, what if it was her in that noodle stand? Ugh! Lita Tiala, half dead. Dr. Maractus pulling that stand... ...and a bullet fired from inside the noodle stand. But if it's all true? We might have already figured out what truly happened that night. Mr. Lita Tiala, as you can see... We're not through with you just yet! You really want to blame me for this murder, don't you? You too, Prosecutor Gavin? <laughs> me? Fräulein, I only wish to know the truth. Well, let's go back over what we've learned up until now. On the day of the murder, Walkie saw his checkup report. From which he learned about the bullet still inside him. So, Took a pistol from the family stash, with the intent to give Dr. Maractus some of his own medicine. And Miss Tiala heard about this from Walkie, so she went to the Maractus clinic ahead of him, in order to get rid of the chart with her signature. But then, something happened. <sighs> Sounds like you figured it all out. But remember, I was the victim. I was out cold. But, what about Dr. Maractus? That does seem to be the problem. He had just strangled the leader Tiala, perhaps he thought to death. What did he do after his crime? I was just knocked out, not dead. From the state of his clinic and the scene in the park, I think it's clear what the good doctor did next. Well, haired forehead, care to guess? Well, Mr. Juice Dice, what did Mr. M Mercedes do? Maybe he did think he killed Alita Tiala. Do I have evidence to show what he did next? Well, obviously we do. Take that! Take that! Well, obviously. As his next move, Dr. Maractus stole Guy Eldun's noodle stand! What? Killing me disturbed him that much. 
So much you randomly stole that noodle stand? It wasn't so random. Remember all the bowls in the clinic's foyer? Bowls that belonged inside that stand? I think it's pretty obvious, don't you? That stand was at his clinic. However, the question is, why did he remove the bowls? Maybe... because the stand was heavy? Or he wanted to put something in the stand in their place. <laughs> Wait, you don't mean a... I do. Dr. Maractus did replace those bowls with something. Your corpse, Miss Hiala! Oh, my, my corpse? Friend. Dr. Maractus panicked. He thought he killed you. His next move would be to dispose of the body. That's crazy talk. You're all crazy. Objection! Now let's think about it. Logically. The doctor had a place to dispose of you in mind. But on his way there, who should he run into but the defendant, Walkie Kataki? Objection! I question your logic. What's this prosecutor gave him? The park is a dead end. Why would he head in that direction to begin with? Well, that's right. He had no reason to go there. Oh, now I get it. It was a trick. That spoiled brat made him do it. He made the doctor steal the stand. Objection! T tell me, why would someone go to a dead end? Unless the park was his destination. What? Apparently, the defense has an uh, idea. Just where Dr. Mercedes was heading with the stand. <laughs> Here, oh. please show me on this map. To where exactly the victim was uh, dragging the uh, stand. Uh. Take that! Take that! There, that's a river. Yes, Your Honor. I scarcely need to explain why. A perfect place to dispose of a body. He was going to throw me into that river? Huh? He didn't have many other options, Fräulein. I believe this clears up all the remaining questions. No. The victim pulling the stand, and the defendant before him. And inside the stand, you, Miss Alita Tiala. Uh. And then, oh my lord, the denouement. Denouement? Wesley Sticker, of pants snatching fame, walks up. <laughs> Seeing the two men, he shouts, Stop that cringe! In that instant. <sighs> Hello. I have a gun. <laughs> I'll see you, Mega. Huh? I thought you said you had to go. He says no, he's a gun. I, I have a gun. Uh, I'm dead. Huh? So, I shot him? Huh? You were the only one who could have stolen Rocky's pistol. It had to be you! And only you! Oh, well, the Miss Tiala. Hmm. Well? Nice work. Well? You mean, I'm right? I mean, you've done a fine job dreaming up a story. To get that spoiled brat off the hook. You're the one who's dreaming. Apollo's backed up everything he said with facts. If you're so sure he's making it up, give us another reason. Why was Dr. Maractus pulling that stand through the park? Who knows? But there's one gaping hole in your logic. I think Mr. Gavin knows whereof I speak. Where of what? I can't believe she's still trying to deny this! Is this true, Professor Gavin? <laughs> Not okay. <sighs> Must I always be the one to point out Herr Forehead's errors? Oh, maybe there really is something. I believe the Fräulein speaks of the hair doctor's car. His car? Car? Movie? That's right. The Maractus Clinic has that big garage. In which set a green sports car was it? 
Why would he steal the stand in the first place? If I, he wanted to carry a body, he would have used his car. Ah! <laughs> and so we find our victim without probable cause to steal that stand. In our defense without a case. Objection! Um, I have an idea. You know that green car? I bet it wouldn't run. It was broken. Ah, what an excellent counter-argument, Fräulein. Too bad you're quite wrong. Eh? Bleh. Oh, don't tell me you've forgotten what happened to your daddy. Daddy? That's right! He was ran down like a sick puppy! Uh, I mean, he was hit by a car. And that was a green sports car! Oh yeah! I nearly forgot about that. What is he talking about? <laughs> yeah, Mega, you missed this case. He's not hit yeah, by a car, man. Like, you literally missed every like bit of information. Yeah, he got oh. ran down. Oh. And flew, yeah. What he what he <laughs> flew 15 feet and somehow survived. And he oh. flew, Mega. He flew 15 feet and hit his head on a telephone pole and survived. Well, I guess and he he's walked got... away with a sprained ankle. Well, I guess he's got. <laughs> Well, I guess he's uh, run out of tricks, eh? <laughs> uh... <clears throat> Afterward, he drove it back to that garage. It ran fine. That's right. So why didn't he use his beloved sports car, hmm? <clears throat> A glaring contradiction, to be sure. More glaring than your forehead. No! No! More glaring than your face. Order, order, order. Why didn't Mr. Uh, Mercedes use his car to carry. <laughs> Why did he use his Mercedes? Um. Uh. Um. Oh, is that a groan of surrender I hear? Some advice. Now's a good time to review all that you know. Everything you've learned over the last two days. Everything Yarr. I've learned. Mr. J Justice, this contradiction casts uh, doubt on the uh, entire case. This is truly your last chance. The defense will explain what has happened to that. Uh, I have an idea. It's all coming together! That night, Dr. Maractus couldn't use his car. Huh. Now you're making even less sense than usual. Not according to my information, Miss Tiawa. Put one and one together, and the explanation is simple. If it's so simple, perhaps you could uh, show us some uh, evidence. Show us proof why the car wouldn't run that night. Take that! All right, because all right, it doesn't have legs. See the <gasps> pants? Pants! All sorts of things comes out of my pants. <laughs> Even the truth. Huh? What? Another crime was committed the night of the murder. The theft of these pants. The latest in a string of similar thefts, actually. But that night... The Snatcher was caught in the act. A brave young girl chased the thief until he hid. In the Maractus Clinic garage. What? The Snatcher hid the pants there before running. This is stupid. This is highly stupid. <laughs> Perhaps someone in the court remembers where he hid them. Why weren't they found in the car's exhaust pipe? Who's pinging me? Bingo. By the way, I learned something yesterday. A very important piece of information. And I learned it from you, Prosecutor Gavin! Sorry. No, that's the wrong voice! No! No! Take two. Um, so you were here investigating? Oh my 
my god. Now I have to do it. You should have been ready to do it! Hair <laughs> Justice. Don't forget that I am helping you out currently. If you would like me to continue helping you, I suggest you adjust your attitude. If you yeah, that was like... not me, that was, uh... Wait, that wasn't me, that was me! It was, it was me, like, you know, the guy voicing him. Hmm. Very well, then. You get a pass for that one. And I was on my way home when my hog gave up the ghost. Your... hog? My motorcycle won't start. A clogged exhaust pipe. Dad, it looks like such a nice bike too! Hard to believe that I could break just from that! Cars, motorbikes, they're all the same. Hey, sir. Clog the exhaust and they won't run. My, how interesting. While Miss Tiala and the doctor were struggling, the pan snatcher snuck into the Baractus garage. From that time, until the time we found these, that car wouldn't start. What? That's why Dr. Maractus had to use the noodle stand. It was the next closest thing he could think of. Well, Miss Tiala? This wraps up your doubts up quite nicely, I think! <sighs> So it does. Uh huh. Hooray! What do we do? Where, where am I? Do we win? Door. Yes. I am. Uh huh. Oh, it's burning. Oh. Uh, What's your problem? Oh, okay. Oh god, now I have to do it. Okay. <clears throat> I had a knock on my door, so I had to step away for a second. Can I do it? I already do you want no. me to do it. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you I know what you did. Ugh. Rocky. You lied to me, so you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you a taste of your own medicine, man. Well, wait, let me explain. Uh, fine, I'll give you a last request. Listen, you're being tricked, but not how you think. It's not just me. No. I'll ruin everything. I have to stop him. Stop this cringe! Huh? <laughs> thank you, thank you, Sil. So. <laughs> Alright, I'll edit it in post. Someone was posting cringe in my courtroom? No, that's the thing. When 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 he shouted, he apparently said stop. But we but we made it a bit that he said stop this cringe now or something like that. Funny, this Me? isn't the way it was supposed to turn out. Oh well, too bad. <laughs> oh well. There's still one mystery. How did you manage to uh, disappear from that stand? I walked away. Oh. But in the silence after the shot, I heard the witness running. I believe we heard as much from Wesley Stickler. He went to use a public phone to inform the police. Which is when I made my escape. Which is when you left that slipper print. Dr. Maractus didn't bother taking my slippers off. I threw them out after I stepped into the paint, though. That was your mistake. No. My biggest mistake... ...was coming to you for help, Mr. Justice. But I believed in you. You and your... ANYTHING agency. If anyone would get Walkie declared, it was you! Uh. I believe we've uh, reached a conclusion of a sort. Prosecutor Gabin. How is Miss Alita Tiala doing? She's confessed to everything. We're processing her arrest now. Prosecutor Gavin sure seems calm for someone who just lost. I think he already knew. 
He figured out she was the killer a while ago. Uh huh. Some advice. Now's a good time to review all that you know. Everything you've learned over the last two days. He lost. But I didn't exactly win either. Hmm? Uh -huh. Something the matter, haired forehead? Well... And uh, it looks like it's time to announce a verdict. Not Hooray! guilty. Ooh, uh, woo! Yay! 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 I won my actual Yay! first like, case that doesn't have my uh, boss being arrested. Yay! And I was here too. Court is adjourned. <laughs> for for now. Till next time. June seventeenth. District Court. Oh man. June seventeenth. 4 12 p.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number Two. Great job, Apollo! You did it! You did it. Yeah, we did. Somehow. Oh, walkie's off the hook. Free to become the Yakuza he's always wanted to be. And he has you to thank. Uh, this is definitely Walkie. You know what, Mega? I, I, I agree with your sentiment. Take him. I can't no, do it, nah. man. What does he sound like? Uh, so you've heard UA voice Majima before, right? Oh. Oh. Kind of uh, similar, yeah. <clears throat> that accent. Okay. Let me think. What did he sound like? Was he Irish? Yeah, kind of. Do I just, yeah. So I, just, so I just do McGilded, okay? Hi, hey, high energy. Curry man! He's like a really young punk, so high energy. Hey, dirty man! <coughs> You're gonna pay for what you did to my elite homes! Or it's a blame, I guess. You give my elite back! Stupid boy and a dirty with a death wish! Enough, Walkie! <laughs> ah! Mr. Kataki! It's high time that you open your eyes, Walkie. <laughs> what do you know, man? I think it's about time you open yours! Giving up on life, trying to become some kind of businessman! Don't talk about what you do not understand, boy! I'm afraid the guard is going to throw them both out. I don't think the guard is gonna get involved in this. Yeah. No, that's my line. The guard is not gonna get involved in this. Hey, maybe we can help them out. You know why Mr. Kataki needs to make so much money? Maybe we should tell Waki. For some reason, he has no idea. Oh, Waki, Apollo has something to tell you. Huh? I do? Uh, way to put me on the spot. Huh? What's that? Show him the reason why, Apollo. Why is Mr. Kataki trying to become a businessman? For me. Take that! Think about it, Walkie. <laughs> Think oh, about geez. your condition. Mm. I talked with your mother, Little Plum, yesterday. Uh, what? TLDR, by the way, he's what? got a, he's basically, he, oh he got, oh my god, what is that thing? <laughs> basically, he's got, he, he, he's, he's been shot, and, he, and the bullet is like, what, two inches above his heart, and slowly going down, and it will eventually kill him. Von Karma moment? What? <laughs> oh god, uh, that's right, UA also voiced Little Plum. <laughs> I can't do this, I can't do this. I'm All right, uh, well, since she's a female, uh, everyone, uh, look Nine. slowly towards Soria. <laughs> Silence does not get you out of this situation. It pays, but we need a lot of money right now. Clean money, that is. Women's History Month. She doesn't mean... You aren't really... Are you... I searched the globe, my boy. And I found one. A doctor who will do for me 
but no one else will do. Doctor who can take that bullet out of you, Walkie. But it is expensive procedure. Man, but you got plenty of money already, don't you? I won't use such money. It was the Yakuza life that did this to my only son. I want to help you, and I want to do it clean. Man. <gasps> yes! <laughs> yes, Please I Please understand, Walkie. Dad! Man, I see how it is, old man. Always you looking out for, out for. Mm. Mm. Walkie? This is good, old man. One day, one day, I'm gonna take you out. Then we'll see who's the OG. Try hiding your business suit, I'll find you. Stupid old geezer. Hi, Walkie! No. Things are as they should be. Mr. Kataki! I liked him more without the puppy dog eyes. Mr. Justice. He like approaches Apollo and just like slightly bows his head. You have done for me great service. Dan, I really <laughs> like your voice with him. <laughs> Thank you. Everyone it's seems so to like good. it. It's so good. <laughs> you have done for me. And from my family, a great service. In your time of need, you call upon the Kitakis, and we will be there. I want to make you an offer you can't refuse. I... me? Who? I... uh... Someday... I will bake you one of our latest. The Kitaki Lime Pie. He's opening a pie shop? <laughs> Mr. Justice. Yeah, I'll stretch his hand. Let us shake as gentlemen should. Shake my hand. Uh, it would be an honor! I have passed on to you some energy that should help you in your time. <laughs> Remember, it is as Mr. Wright says. You are nearly full-blooded, my boy. What does that mean? My boy? Wait, oh, what? Uh -huh. So long. No, the, the, the meme is apparently Apollo's power, but he's like, he's half-blooded. And then, he, he just walked out of here. And then I was here. I'm just gonna act like that didn't happen. Well, let's head back, Apollo. To the Right Anything Agency. Hey, since when do I work at your agency? Aw, we make a good team. Don't just stand there. Let's get going. Huh. Why not? She did help me out. And there's a few questions I still need answers. Like, why did you send my boss to jail? Like this power of mine that she showed me. Also, what is and this my background? bracelet? If anyone can help me figure it out, it's her. Oh, I can't say I care much for what her father has become. <clears throat> oh, that's right. We have to go someplace first. Huh? Where? Why, to claim our reward from Mr. Aldoon. Ah, the salty noodles. Right. You gotta stand back already? Oh, and after that, you can come see my show, with a special appearance by the amazing Mr. Hat. Oh, it's special, all right. Please, anything but him. <laughs> Yay. 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 Dun, 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 Cool. Dun. So. Yo, guys, I hope you can wait. 
Serenade. In my opinion, uh, the the best case in this game is Eternal Serenade. I don't know. I thought Case Four was better. I like Turnout Serenade. Case Four was way too confusing and and honestly didn't even have a good ending to it. <laughs> really, it Whoa. didn't. It did Whoa, controversial. <laughs> controversial indeed. But no, this is the best case in this game. I, don't know I mean, I like Turnout Serenade. I think it's the second best case in this game. No, no, it, it is. It is factually the best case in this game. Nine, nine, I don't know what they're talking about. Uh, they're talking about Apollo Justice, but um, um, I'm sorry to cut the conversation short, but I'm going to just quickly end stream here. Um, mm. Huh? Yeah, sorry. Huh? I, I know I know. we usually have a, like, post-talks, but... Yeah, we usually yeah. draw it out. What's going I, on? I know. Ooh, um, yeah, unfortunately, something kind of came up, so I got to quickly end. Next time on Game Grumps. So, uh, thank you everyone for watching. See you next time on next stream, whenever that Bye. is. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.